All right, guys, today we're going to be talking yet again about modern contenders for the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, the Benchmade 940 Osborne, as you see it here, maybe with a little bit less blade wear, but as you see it here with the purple anodized aluminum backspacer with the lovely green aluminum scales is the way God attended <laughs> the way God intended this knife many, many moons ago. This thing was released in the early 2000s and is probably one of Benchmade's best knives ever, arguably one of the handful of knives that put Benchmade on the map. And it is a perennial favorite for good reason. I think it is a really well-built and overall a genuine workhorse of a knife. However, I think in the past handful of years, there have been a number of contenders that have really come to dethrone the mighty 940. Now, you might look at Benchmade's own family of knives and say the bug out, especially in its titanium and metal scales, could do something similar to this. But we're gonna talk about some other knives from other makers. So first off, let's talk about the one that I initially drew conclusions to. This is the Spyderco Smock. Now, this knife, I think, is one of the most obvious and most direct competitors to the 940. You can see it has that very narrow, very thin body, also very reminiscent to the 940. When folded, it is very narrow and very slender in the pocket. And one thing that I really love about the smock is the fact that they it's not an integral flipper, but you can see that this flipper is very well blended into the design and works very effectively. So when you go to pocket this in your pocket, there is no actual thumb stud really jutting out of the spine or back of the knife. So this knife, like I said, was one of the first that I drew conclusions to saying that this would be a you know modern day replacement to the 940. It even comes in CPM S30V, just like the original 940. And once again, just borrows on a lot of what made the 940 great, obviously with its own distinct and unique Spyderco characteristics. Things like the deep hollow grind, things like the spidey opening hole as opposed to thumb studs, of course the flipper. But what's most important, and I think, the key here to you know, taking what made these um, Benchmade 940 so great is that it was a very slim, almost CEO styled or you know, very um, discreet carry knife that could be easily opened and closed with one hand. And so I think the Spyderco smock really fits the um, kind of thesis of what the 940 was aimed after. So the Spyderco Smock, like I said, is one of the knives that I think is a modern day competitor and might in some ways, in my opinion, be better than the 940. And I'll talk about another two options. The next one up will be the TRM Neutron. Now the Neutron is a little bit smaller than the 940, but it's actually, I think a lot of people would say, you know, like, isn't the Neutron, you know, a lot smaller than the 940? Technically, side by side, and let me move this little Malibu real quick. You know, side by side, it's really not actually that much smaller. You guys can see here, it is a little bit smaller, but if you actually really put them up against each other, not that much is different. And once again, you know, fitting that idea and uh, thesis of what the 940 was meant to be, I think that the Neutron does a very, very good job. Once again, we're talking a very slim, very trim knife that is going to be very pocketable, doesn't really have anything sticking out of it. Once again, very user friendly, very one hand friendly. And I think that is probably about the only thing where Neutron's just a little bit different it is very easy to close once again it is a liner lock so it is in my opinion very smooth for a liner lock so it is very easy to open and close one-handed as you guys can see the blade will just fall right down on your finger allowing you to easily thumb the knife closed but the Neutron, I think, is a worthy contender, especially seeing that it stepped up the materials from S30V up to 20CV. But like I said, it really fits that original design uh, 
thesis of what the 940 was created to be, a lightweight, pocket-friendly, urban carry. So that is the TRM Neutron 2. And like I said, I think it is a really similar and nice competitor to the 940. Now that leaves us with one more knife to talk about. And this right here is the Protec Malibu. Now, some people are probably familiar with the Protec Malibu already, but for me, I think that maybe the smock and the Malibu um, are probably the most direct, like I said, I don't wanna say copies because they're obviously not copies, but very, very similar in design and thesis. They really copied Benchmade's homework when it comes to what they were looking for in a knife. And I think the Malibu is probably the closest. You know, the smock kind of diverges and goes its own way a little bit. But when you really look at it, like the 940 and the Malibu are very similar in overall size, in blade shape. These are both reverse tontos. In uh, materials, obviously the Malibu is a much higher end knife. But in price point, ironically, um, they are actually very similar. So you can get a Malibu new for anywhere depending on what materials and stuff obviously you can go for the crazy limited edition ones that are like eight hundred dollars but you can get something like a malibu like this guy here that is you know cpm s45 vn um, you can get the ones in s uh, cpm what is it 20 cv um, for very very close to the prices you would pay for a Benchmade 940. So these two, like I said, are very similar in price point, very similar in really every way, shape, and form. The only difference is, my God, the Malibu's action is just otherworldly. Like it really is one of those things that I didn't really believe or, you know, like want to give into the hype of the Malibu until I got one in hand and I was like, my God, the action on this thing is absolutely freaking incredible. But once again, very similar to a well broken in 940. Of course, this 940, as you can see, very well broken in, absolutely closes without a problem. Um, I've also tuned it up a little bit, so it's a little bit nicer. But yes, these two are insanely similar. And I would genuinely argue that the Malibu is the 940 of the future. You have a nice flipper tab that actuates with pretty much no force. Of course, you have that button lock, which gives you, once again, very nice one-handed closing that is basically thoughtless, effortless, and you give that really nice utility reverse tonto. Now, once again, I, I would argue that, you know, the Malibu really isn't designed to be a tactical folder. It's not really designed to be, you know, super stabby and super fighting. But like the 940, it is really, really well designed for utility tasks. Now, like I said, mine is the Benchmade exclusive. So it is in CPM S45VN as opposed to their standard CPM 20CV. I believe they're shifting these over to Magna Cut now, but you can definitely find Malibu's in Magna Cut. You can definitely find uh, Malibu's in Magna Cut. You can find them in, you know, 20 CV. And even S45 is um, going to be incredible. Like all of these are really, really good steals. So ultimately, I think the Malibu is a crazy awesome version of, I think, like what a Benchmade 940 would look like in 2023. So anyways, that was a look at a handful of knives that I think are really spiritual successors. They kind of copied Benchmade's homework. Like I said, especially the Malibu and especially the Smock because both the Smock and Malibu are reverse tontos. And once again, laying them right next to the blade shape of the 940 Osborne, you can see that it is incredibly similar in its overall stylings. All of them have very slender blades, very, you know, kind of almost straightforward blades um, <clears throat> that are very reminiscent of that very distinct reverse tonto. Now, like I said, the Neutron here is a little bit of the odd man out, but I wanted to throw it in here because I still feel like the, the uh, Neutron captures a lot of the magic of what makes the 940 so special. Anyways, guys, Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at some really good contenders. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on the Malibu because I think that this guy is actually really cool. Like I said, I really didn't wanna give into the hype of the Malibu at first, but I was like, 
holy smokes. So I ended up picking one up because it is just too freaking cool. So anyways, that is the Malibu, the Smock, the Neutron over there in the 940. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.